Hey everyone, let's make some bully beef. So first thing you're gonna do is get all your ingredients and make sure you wash everything. Uh, next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your peppers. I don't know, this is how I cut my peppers and people are always so intrigued by this. Um, I just find that it's easy to get the core out um, this way. So I just run my knife through it like so and then the core comes out very easily. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up my peppers. I have orange peppers here and uh, green peppers as well. Next I'm going to prep my onion. Um, you'll often see in my videos that I'm reaching over to the side and what I have there is a, a garbage bowl. It just makes it a lot easier uh, when you are prepping things to ensure that everything is gone. Uh, next I'm going to do my garlic and as you can see here I'm just hitting it with the back of my knife and I'm allowing the knife to do the work. It makes it a lot easier to peel the garlic this way. So next I'm going to dice up some tomatoes. Um, I don't know I always find tomatoes very difficult to cut um, if your knife is not super sharp. So make sure your knife is very very sharp. And the next ingredient is scotch bonnet. Um, it is very hot. The seeds are extremely hot, but I do not include the seeds in mine. So you'll see here, I am just cutting around the pepper um, to ensure that no seeds are included. And then I dice that up really finely. Next, you're gonna take your bully beef can. Um, I flip it upside down. I find it very easy to open it that way. I know a lot of people struggle with opening the can and I find this is the easiest way to open it. As you can see here, no problems. Ta-da! <laughs> Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take the bully beef out of the can and you are going to mash it uh, with the back of your fork, like so, just in a bowl. Next, you're going to want to add in your garlic and your black pepper to season the bully beef like this. And again, you're just going to mix everything together. Uh, next, in a frying pan with some oil, you're going to add in your onion and garlic, your peppers, and your tomato. And once you add those in, I like to saute them a bit um, and let them just soften slightly. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing here. And this is the type of consistency you're looking for. Next, I'm going to add in my scotch bonnet and also my thyme and mix that again together and then you're going to add in your seasoned bully beef directly into the frying pan making sure you get everything in there and then what you're going to do is you're going to mix that around and ensure everything's incorporated next i have ketchup and pick a pepper sauce so these two ingredients are completely optional, um, however I do like to add them, but that's completely up to you. Next you're going to add in your chopped up scallion, you add that last because it does not take very long to cook. And then this is basically what your finished product is going to look like, with all your ingredients very incorporated. So I like to pair uh, my breakfast with a pear. So what I'm doing here is I'm just slicing it open and checking to see, is it good? Is it good? I'm usually good at picking my pears. Ah, it's good. And this is the finished product. So we have bully beef, we have fried dumpling, plantain, and pear. And this is how I eat mine.